Hello, junior devs. Welcome back to the QB Core universe. In today's video, we're diving into the exciting realm of customization. I'm going to guide you through the process of changing your server's name and logo, essential steps to make your server truly stand out. Without further ado, let's jump right in and make your QB Core server uniquely yours. I'm Brave, and this is QB Core Server. To kick things off, let's open our QB Core base folder and dive into the server CFG file. We're going to start by setting tags, offering a quick glimpse to our player base about our server, whether it's based on the QB Core framework or any other. Let's add a touch of excitement by including GTA 6 in our tags. Now, the host name is what players see when they open our server profile giving them a snapshot of server details, like whitelist status and available cars. The project name is a concise identifier before opening the server profile. While the description provides a brief overview, keep it short and sweet. Let's bring the hype by changing everything to GTA 6. Done. The server icon contains the name of the logo file, and by default, it's the QB Core logo. Now let's change it, but before we do, let's go over some rules. The pixel size should be 96x96. To accomplish this, download a logo without a background. Remember, it should be transparent. For resizing, head over to pixlr.com. I'll provide the link in the description below. Once you're on the site, navigate to Pixlr Editor, create a new project, set the width and height to 96, and hit the Create button. Now, head to the layers on the top side and select the Add Image as Layer option. If you already have the logo without a background, great! Scale it to cover the square and ensure it looks proportional. Once done, hit the download button and save it to the QB Core base folder. Remember, it should be in PNG format. As we observe the old logo, the default QB Core logo, go ahead and copy its name. Delete the old logo and rename the new one with the copied name. Make sure it's in PNG format and matches the name written in the server, ACFG file. With that, you've successfully crafted a unique server logo. For upcoming videos, we need to make a small change to set Use Target, which is the I option in-game. Change False to True, and you're good to go. Remember to save the file using Ctrl plus S or the method demonstrated in the video. Finally, restart your server, open FIVAM, and voila! Everything has changed to the way we wanted it. Congratulations on making your server truly one of a kind. Now, revel in the transformation you've just orchestrated. Every facet of your server has undergone a significant metamorphosis, from the server name to the vivid description, and even the tags have been revamped. Your server is now a reflection of the vibrant universe you've envisioned. Take a moment to appreciate the uniqueness you've injected into your QB Core server. The server icon proudly displays the logo you've meticulously crafted. The changes you've made go beyond aesthetics, they convey the essence and personality of your server. As you navigate through Fivem and witness the altered server profile, bask in the satisfaction of creating a gaming environment that stands out. Your server now exudes a distinct charm that's bound to captivate players. Now it's time to bid farewell, fellow developers. In our next video, we'll embark on another exciting journey, learning how to set up Discord-rich presence for your QB Core server. So, grab your developer hat and let's dive into the world of enhancing player experiences. Until then, happy coding, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm Brave, and this is QB Core Server.